Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy fall, I am wearing my fall sweatshirt because today I am bringing you not one, but two fall inspired copycat Starbucks recipes. Two of the most famous fall desserts at Starbucks, WW friendly, macro friendly, calorie friendly. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I upload five videos every week and I have lots of fall and holiday content coming your way. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I can't stress enough how important it is to have this done so you know what you should be eating every day to see success. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. It's free, it's supportive, it's a great community. So come on over and join us. So let's jump in to Copycat Starbucks Fall Recipes. recipe is one of my favorite things from Starbucks and these are the pumpkin cream cheese muffins. We are making a much healthier version. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need vanilla extract, milk of your choice. You're only using a teaspoon so it doesn't matter. Use whatever you have on hand. All purpose flour, 100% pure pumpkin, sweetener alternative. As always, I have the Lakanto Golden this is my favorite sweetener. I find that it tastes the most like sugar and doesn't have a weird aftertaste. So I'll link Lakanto down below for you with a discount. So definitely use the discount. It'll save you money site-wide. You'll, you'll also need some light butter, baking powder and baking soda, one egg pumpkin pie spice, and one third less fat cream cheese. So to get started, we're adding one and a half cups of all-purpose flour three quarters of a cup of Lakanto granulated, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then one teaspoon of baking soda. And then it calls for one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. You already know, I'm putting in more. I'm going to do more like a tablespoon. I love the pumpkin pie spice and that flavor, so I really want that to be front and center. And then add just a little bit of salt. I don't think I showed you guys the salt in the beginning, but you're going to add about a quarter teaspoon. And as always, I'll link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. I love them. And then we're going to give this a quick stir and set it aside. In another bowl, we're going to add one egg, one and a half cups of pumpkin puree, one quarter cup of light melted butter cooled, and then about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then give that a mix until fully combined. And then we're going to add the wet ingredients to our dry ingredients and stir again until everything's mixed together really well. We're going to spray our muffin pan with some non-stick cooking spray, and I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And then using a muffin scoop, we're going to fill our muffins about three quarters of the way full. So we have our muffins. We're going to set these aside while we make our cream cheese filling. So for the cream cheese filling, I've added four ounces of room temperature, one third less fat cream cheese. In my little bowl here, I have two tablespoons Lakanto granulated, one tablespoon flour, and then we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a teaspoon of milk. And then mix that together until you have a filling consistency. So you can do the cream cheese one of two ways. You can use a piping bag and actually pipe it into the middle of the muffin, or in my case, I'm just going to put it right on top of the muffin. So you can really do it either way. I think sitting on top is gonna to be really good. It's going to add that layer of cream cheese in every bite of the muffin. So I'm going to add a little bit of that cream cheese to all 12 muffins. And lastly, before they go into the oven, I'm going to take a little bit of the pumpkin pie spice and I'm just going to sprinkle it right on top. 
So we're putting these in a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. We just want to make sure they're cooked completely through. So the Starbucks pumpkin cream cheese muffins are out of the oven. I'm actually going to let them cool completely. We'll pop them out of our muffin pan and I'll be back to show you the finished product and give you points, calories, and macros. So our muffins are done. They are nice and cooled. I'll go ahead and package these up once they have completely cooled, but these look really good with that cream cheese on top. They are very, very, very soft when I pull them out of the muffin pan. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and macros here on the screen for you. And let's jump into fall recipe, copycat Starbucks number two. Recipe number two is the Starbucks pumpkin bread. This is another one of my very favorite seasonal goodies at Starbucks. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need, again, Lakanto granulated sweetener or any sugar alternative. Don't forget it is linked down below with 15% off. You'll also need some all-purpose flour, salt, brown sugar. As always, I'm using Lakanto. This is the Lakanto Golden. Canned pumpkin, unsweetened applesauce, vanilla extract, pumpkin pie spice, baking powder, baking soda, and some eggs. So for the pumpkin bread, we're adding one and a half cups of all-purpose flour to a bowl, half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, about a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. I might just do a little bit more. Some salt. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a full teaspoon of baking soda. And mix your dry ingredients together really well and set those aside. To our dry ingredients, we're going to add a can of pumpkin puree, which will basically be the rest of what's in this large can. Three quarters of a cup of Lakanto Golden. Half of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, that is in place of oil. Three eggs. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to mix that together until combined. Spray your bread pan with some non-stick cooking spray. Make sure you spray it really well. We don't want our Starbucks loaf to stick. And then we're going to transfer the bread mix into the loaf pan. So here is what our pumpkin bread looks like. Now the recipe says you can add pumpkin seeds or pepitas to the top. You could also add chopped nuts if you wanted, but I think I'm going to make it just like this. I wanna share some of this with my in-laws and I don't know if they like nuts in their pumpkin bread. So we're gonna keep it as is, and this is going into a 375 degree oven for about an hour or until it is cooked completely through and a toothpick comes out clean. One hour later. Our pumpkin bread is out of the oven. It smells so good, it looks so good. I'm going to let it cool completely, slice it up, package it up for the week. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and macros here on the screen for you, but another healthier alternative than all those yummy goodies at Starbucks. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing copycat Starbucks recipes. These are two of my favorite fall treats and I'm so excited to have a healthier version at home. Don't forget you will find these recipes as well as all of my other recipes on my website. It is linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a future video. Happy Sunday, friends. Happy fall, y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!